Hi everyone, so I've decided to make some more beginner to intermediate style videos, so today we'll be going through Tuluk Olo. So if you didn't already know, Olo is the third step of solving the Rubik's Cube in the CFOP method, and it involves orienting the last layer, or you could think of it as getting the color on the top. So for advanced solvers, Olo is a single step, and it usually can be done in one algorithm. However, for beginner and intermediate solvers, OLO can be broken down into two steps known as Tuluk OLO. The reason for this is that full OLO requires you to learn 57 algorithms, which is definitely quite a lot, especially for beginner and intermediate solvers. Instead, learning Tuluk OLO, you'll only need to know 10 algorithms, which makes it a lot easier to learn, makes it a lot easier to transition into full OLO later on. So the first step with Tuluk Olo is to make the yellow cross on the top layer. So there's three different cases that you can get when you get to this stage. The first case is when you have a single line. So when you get a single yellow line, you want to make sure that you hold it horizontally and you can do this algorithm to get the yellow cross on top. So the algorithm is fairly straightforward to remember. It's just F, sexy F prime. So the second possible case that you can get when you get to this step is the L shape. So when you get the L shape, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, the one that I would recommend, I guess, is this case where you hold the L at the back left hand side and you can do this algorithm, which is really similar to the previous algorithm. It's F inverse sexy F prime. However, there is an alternative way to solve this particular case. Another way to solve it is to hold this L shape at the front right hand side. And from this angle, you can do a wide F move like this and do sexy followed by wide F prime. And that also creates the yellow cross on top. The final case that you can get is this case here when you only have a dot on the top. So these dot cases are definitely one of the longer cases to get the cross, but the algorithms can be made up of the previous two algorithms that you should already know. So when you get the dot case, it doesn't really matter which angle you face. So from any angle, start with the first algorithm that I showed, which is F sexy F prime. Once you've done that, you get this L case, which you can solve using the second algorithm that I showed, which is the wide F sexy F prime. And just a bit more of an advanced tip for this particular case. Notice how you do an F sexy, and then at this stage, you have to do an F prime and then a wide F. So perhaps a quicker way to do this algorithm is instead of doing F prime followed by the wide F move, you can instead do a slice layer move like this. And that is the same as the F prime followed by wide F, but you only need to do one move and could make the algorithm a bit faster as well. So now that we've made the yellow cross on top, the next step is to orient the yellow corners as well. So there are seven different possible cases that you can get with the corners. And so this is the first case that we can get. It's when we have one corner oriented and the other three corners are unoriented like this. This is called the soon and it can be solved using the soon algorithm, which goes like this. So you can think about taking this F2 pair out, moving it to the back and inserting it back into the front with a U2 insert. So the next case you can get is very similar to the previous case in that there's only one corner that's oriented. However, the unoriented corners go in the other direction. So it's kind of the mirror of the previous case. So for this case, it's known as the anti soon and I like to hold the oriented corner at the back right position here and do this anti soon algorithm. So it starts off by taking this F12 pair out with a U2 and then inserting the regular way. So the next case that you can get is this one here. 
and it's recognized by two corners being oriented and the other two unoriented corners have yellows facing outwards like this. So it kind of forms a T shape. For this case, you want to hold it so that the two unoriented corners are on the left side and the algorithm for it is actually fairly easy to remember. It's wide sexy sledge. So the algorithm starts off with a wide R move followed by the rest of the sexy followed up with a wide R prime followed by the rest of the sledge. The next case you could possibly get is this case here. It also has two oriented corners, but this time the two corners are diagonal from each other and the other two yellow corners are facing like this. So there's only one possible case you can get when the two diagonal corners are oriented. So with this case, you want to hold it so that one yellow is facing you and the other yellow is facing the left side. So this algorithm is really similar to the previous algorithm. You just move the F prime from the back to the front of the algorithm and you have the algorithm that solves this case, which goes like this. So it starts off with an F prime and then you continue on with the wide sexy and then you continue on with the wide sledge and you don't need to do that last F prime move because we've moved it to the front. So moving back to the case where we have two adjacent corners that are correctly oriented and notice that this case has the unoriented corners facing the same direction. So this can be thought of as the U shape because if you extend these yellows downwards you get sort of a U shape I guess. But anyway, so the algorithm for this case is actually quite a bit more difficult to recognize. So I do recommend following how your hands move rather than just remembering the moves. Finally, moving on to the cases where we have zero corners oriented. So the first case you can get is this case here, and it's called the Pi case because once again, if we extend the yellow corner stickers outwards, it kind of forms this Pi shape. So for this Pi case, we want to hold it so that the headlights are on the left side and we have yellows on the right side facing front and back. From this angle, the algorithm goes like this. So a nice way to remember this algorithm is that it starts off with an R U2 and from this point onwards it's alternating R2s and U primes. So R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 and at the very end it ends off with a U2 followed by an R and that is the algorithm. The final case that you could possibly get is this case. Once again, there's no corners oriented. However, in this case, there are two sets of headlights pointing in either direction. So this is otherwise known as the H case because once again, if you extend the yellow corners out, it kind of looks like a H. So for this H case, we actually want to hold the H so that it's horizontal so that it actually no longer looks like a H. And then from this angle, it can be solved by two soons. But because the two soons kind of cancel each other out in the middle, it's actually a bit shorter than two soons and it goes like this. So that's it for the two look Olo tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Like the video if you learnt something new, please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos and share these videos with people who are trying to learn to look Olo or who want to learn to look Olo. I appreciate your support, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.